All right, so we are going to start actually rigging this thing, putting in joints. Um, so I'm going to delete this blue pencil that we don't need anymore. Um, let's start by, um, I'm going to turn off the textures and um, turn off the textures there. So I like working with the gray model. Um, and then turn on the topology so we can see all these different lines. This is important when replacing because we want to use this to place our joints in the middle of things. Um, but let's start. Let's go to the rigging tab, go to skeleton, and go to create joints and go to the option box. Um, I'm going to hit the reset tool here. And then I'm going to click, I'm going to hold down X and click in the middle there. So you'll have your first joint that you made. So something like that. Um, then I would start by um, going over here to display and we wanna see the local rotation axis of this. So if we go to transform display, click on local rotation axis, you'll see that you'll, this, is, this direction of this rig is Z, X, and Y and it should match the world. So if it doesn't match the world, just reset your rig um, settings, your um, joint settings, to make sure that that looks like that. And we're gonna name this, um, usually we have a prefix for whatever rig this is. So um, this is a mech arm, so I'm gonna do MA, and then I'm gonna do underscore, uh, and root. So um, a lot of times we'll add a root joint for most rigs where the placement, um, this is like the placement joint where we put, be able to place our whole rig um, in the scene. And then, so that looks good and it's in the middle of the world. There should, everything should be zeroed out. So there is zero, 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 zero and one, 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 one. And then what we'll need to do is duplicate it. So they're not connected right now. So I want a joint that will be mainly rotating around, um, or a, a based one right here. Um, so I'm gonna put, snap it to the bottom by hitting, I can hit V and middle mouse, like that. And it should snap to the middle like this and you should only have a translate of y here so v middle mouse and then snap to that vertex okay then i'm going to put another pivot point control d and put it right here so this will be the base this will be a rotation um, I might put it right in the middle like this. Might be a good place. And then I'm gonna hit Control D, move it up again. And this one is important because this one will rotate this way. And we need to make sure that we are in the very center of that rotation. Otherwise things will wobble and your geometry won't rotate perfectly around something. Um, the model will probably pop out and it'll feel like it's not actually rotating on this. Um, so what I would usually do is hit D and then C and drag it down in the middle of that. So we get in that middle vert or you can do DV and just make sure that you're right on that vert there. And then I am going to just move it over to the center here like that. Um, you can even if you remember in your snapping that you can, if you make that yellow and then hold down V for vertex and middle mouse, it will only snap to whatever is yellow there. It kind of constrains your snapping. So it'll snap on that vertex. Um, so there we go. That looks good. And now I'm gonna hit control D. Move it over. And then this one will extend. So this is the extending joint. I'll put like something like right here. Um, 
and obviously these will need some, we'll adjust these afterwards also. Then duplicate this and hold down V or C and middle mouse drag it down. So that's right in the center and I'm gonna move it over. And this one, we want this to be the thing that rotates. So I can just click that and then hold down V and middle mouse and it'll snap. Make sure you snap it right in the middle there. That works. And then we need another, another extender. So I'm gonna move it down here. Something like this. And then I'm gonna hit um, Control D and duplicate it again and snap it down here. Because it's gonna be rotating from that center. And I'm gonna snap this to that bird there, right in the middle. So it's in the center of this and the center of this. All right, so um, I think that is fine. Um, I'm gonna duplicate this. And I'm go I want a, an extender, so I'm gonna, but I want it in the center of this. So what I can do is this I'm gonna snap it that way so it constrained it there and then I want to pull this right down here and then I'm gonna snap it this way too to make sure that's right in the middle of this cylinder there we go um, and then I can put this one down here. Like that. Okay. Um, so we have those. Uh, I think that is a good first video um, for adding their joints. And then we're going to correct these. All right.